Okay, uh, this is the last part. I've just went back in the car engine. I have done nothing since the last tutorial. Um, you guys, meaning you guys didn't miss anything. I just opened up car engine here. Um, now this is another important thing. Um, so once you've done this, you open the material, you select the object that you want, and um, you're gonna make sure you obviously the appropriate uh, materials to your objects, both cut shape and the actual um, boolean object. Um, now, material. Make sure you set your concrete breakable, or in your case, if you had the uh, you know the pillow one, breakable. Um, you would set that in here. Very important. It will not work without it. Shape. You can uh, you can put concrete. Bre this said concrete before, but that's fine. Um, concrete breakable. Uh, these are important to set these under here. Now you can have a new selection. Bam. Like I said, if you had pillow, you'd see pillow under here. It's alphabetical, so you go down to P's. Um, there you go. Once you've done that, you've signed everything. Um, this is another important step, and this is actually the final step um, here. Final step would be to go over to your to add it. Roll up bar. There's three different things you can add. Um, I believe there's three. Yeah, you cannot add it as a geometry entity. It will not work as a geometry entity. Um, I'll sh uh, see if I can prove this. Um, my files, objects, structures, uh, wall. It's gonna just uh, drag that right into here. Um, since you've already assigned the material to it, it wouldn't need to have any more configuration. Just drag and drop. So let's shoot this. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, I uh, stand corrected. You can add it as a geometry entity. As you can see, there is a hole right there in there. In there. So yeah, I stand corrected. You can. Uh, the geometry entity, brushes, you can add it as a brush. Entity, um, physics breakable object out of all of the other things uh, you can add it as I highly recommend breakable object there are a lot of cool parameters that you can tweak inside of this uh, um, with geometry entity in brush you can basically just put it in there and it will work but with breakable object be you know there's a lot of cool features this, this is what I use this is what I'm using here um, you actually have to do one more step with a breakable object you bring your breakable object here it's going to be this replace me sphere. That's fine. Um, just go to the model section in the roll-up bar, entity properties, and you're going to place that right in there. Um, now, if I go ahead and shoot it, let's see here. You know, I do not believe it will work. I could be wrong again. But, uh, highly, highly doubt it will work. As you can see, it did not work, and the reason for this is there's a parameter here called breakable type. Um, before it was called breakable ID in the scripts, which is what confused me. This is the final step that I had to do uh, in order to fix it. Um, is this is actually 100 because we set it in that that material um, scripts as 100 to breakable ID. The breakable type in the roll-up bar is going to be 100. Once you've set that to 100, you got to reload your scripts. Because that's what you do when you edit the roll-up bar is pretty much editing scripts, tools, reload scripts. Now if I go right into the game here, and I crouch, you can clearly see that these are being broken. And like, I said, um, like I said, these are there's a lot of parameters. You can do rigid body. Like, let me set this as a rigid body here. And let me just uh, click and let me re reload. Uh, my scripts here. I just set it as a rigid body, and uh, now this thing actually uh, moves around, moves around and such. Hold on. Okay, I'm able to put holes in it, as well as basically uh, move this object around. Let me just throw a grenade here. Let me just back the hell up. Oh, the mass is too. Uh, the mass is uh, too heavy for it. It is immovable. Hold on a second.
as you can see it's actually moving it's being uh, physicalized um, so that's cool about the physics uh, using the breakable um, object there's a lot of other parameters too is buoyancy things can float um, that's all you need to do um, actually no there's actually one more step and uh, I'm gonna get to that in the next part alright stay tuned <laughs>